Welcome to Regrid. This will be a quick video demoing our new Regrid feature service, an Esri compatible solution that deploys our nationwide land parcel data straight into your Esri environment. For enterprises centered on Esri technologies, Regrid feature service is compatible with Esri ArcGIS Pro on the desktop, app configuration tools, and JavaScript API development environments. Simply integrate with our URL for full parcel geometries and associated attributes in Regrid's parcel record schema. Here, we're going to quickly demo loading our premium parcel data into ArcGIS Online. You can do the same to configure web apps hosted on AGOL. The first and key step is to use our token and URL to link the feature service to the ArcGIS Online environment. So to do that, you go to content on the top left, new item, and from here, you'll click URL. And here you'll paste in the uh, URL as well as the token that you got when you have uh, access to that from the Regrid team. This will automatically uh, select the ArcGIS server web service as the type, which is correct. We'll hit next. You'll be prompted to set a title for the thing. Here I'm just going to call it Regrid Feature Service Demo. Hit save. And once that goes through, you can see that uh, it has been added to your ArcGIS Online account. Uh, you can always get back to where you added it uh, from the content pane. Once you have it uh, here, as you see, uh, now you're ready to add it to either your ArcGIS Online map or pull it into a, an ArcGIS Online app. Or if you so choose, you can open it in ArcGIS Desktop. But once it's in that sort of content section, you can do whatever you'd like from here. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to open it in the Map Viewer, the new version. Um, as you can see, you could also open it in Esri's Map Viewer Classic, which is the slightly older ArcGIS Online version. Having clicked on Open in Map Viewer, you'll see that it'll take you back to sort of the map view here, uh, and the parcels will load in as sort of this default light blue. So here we have the parcels loaded in on the map. If we care to click on any given one, you can see that all of the uh, attributes that we have for this parcel uh, can be pulled up here. Once the layer is loaded in in the map viewer, you can of course do all of the uh, functions that the map viewer allows. So for example, here uh, I've selected owner name as the attribute that I'd like to filter on. Um, and then I'm going to, just as an example here, put in uh, properties that are owned by uh, someone who has Ann Arbor uh, in the title. You can see how the parcels here uh, reduced to just those that fit that criteria. And if we scroll down to owner in one of the parcels uh, that we see still highlighted here, uh, you can see here uh, City of Ann Arbor. Similarly, if we would like to manipulate the styles and change the way that the parcel layer looks, uh, you can do all of that under the styles dropdown. So for example, let's say that we want to style the properties uh, on a gradated scale based on their acreage, uh, we can do that here. So we first choose the field, in this case, Loveland calculated acres. Then we go down to counts and amounts. And you can see how the data now changes so that the larger parcels are a darker color. So that's been a quick rundown of the sort of things that you can do once you load our feature service into the ArcGIS Online map viewer. Uh, the last thing I want to touch on before we go is to talk a little bit about how you could load this layer into any of the multitude of ArcGIS Online apps that exist. So from a map view that incorporates the Regrid feature service layer, uh, you'd want to click Save and Open. Uh, and then you would say save as, and you're going to want to save this as a map. So I'm going to call this regrid feature service demo map. Save it. Now that this has been saved, I can go into our content page again. Uh, from here, you'll see both the uh, feature layer that we added initially, and then the web map that we just saved a second ago. Um, and from here, you can click Create App, Instant Apps, and then you'll be able to select from any of the multitudes of apps that are available here. Um, in this case, I'll just choose uh, one at random, let's say this basic one, uh, Regrid Demo App Feature Service is what I'll call this. 
here we see uh, that now, so the, the app is open and we're given the next steps to be able to load this in. So we have to navigate to the map section in the side panel. Here we see the map that I made a second ago. Um, and then we'll go through all of the other steps uh, here and then you, there you would have your app. So any of the apps that we saw in that overview, uh, you can load them in as easily as this. And then when you're done, you would hit publish. And there you would have an app that pulls in our feature service layer ready for you to do whatever the application is that you would like to do. So there you have it. It's as simple as using a URL to load our parcel data as a nationwide data layer into the ArcGIS environment. And from there, you can take it wherever you would like. You can load it into uh, the viewer, you can pull it into the desktop, and you can create instant apps that use it as a layer. And of course, if uh, you are interested in this, reach out to our friendly sales team and uh, get a sample today.